Yakimaru. Move with the left analog stick, not with the directional button. Good. Well done, Yakimaru. Move with the left analog stick while holding down the L1 button. This will allow you to strafe from side to side. Use it to avoid exposing your back to your enemy. Press the L1 button to center the camera in the direction you are facing. Jump with the X button. Yes, very good, Yakimaru. Now try pressing the X button one more time while in mid-jump. Well done. That was an excellent double jump. Now for battle practice. The square button does a heavy attack, and the triangle button does a heavy attack. You're a quick learner. Now, I will show you a very special technique. Press and hold. You are not charging enough. Press and hold the triangle button. When your sword flashes, let go of the triangle button. Attack the enemy using that technique. Then press the buttons as they appear on the screen. Once the enemy's health has been depleted, press the triangle button. Very well done, Yakimaru. Try to get as many slashes as you can. You may be rewarded. Look, your attacks have caused your spirit gauge to fill up. See the blue gauge blinking in the upper left corner. Now, press the square button and the triangle button simultaneously. Excellent. You have successfully performed a spirit attack. You will be able to learn more spirit attacks by finding spirit scrolls. Press the L2 button to change weapon. See how the weapon in your hand changed? Excellent swordsmanship. There are many other kinds of swords. Be sure to try each one at least once. Now, press the L2 button. Finally, I will explain how to use the weapons I have built into your body. First, your right arm. While using your sword arm, press the R1 button. Impressive, isn't it? I call it the repeater arm cannon. This weapon can be used when you have your sword arms drawn. It is very effective, but there is limited ammo, so use it wisely. Now your left leg, press and hold the once you select your target using now your left once you select your target by powerful. Hey Hyakima. I call it the guide leg cannon. It is very powerful, but uses special ammo. Use it sparingly. Oh, I almost forgot. Those swords in your arms as you defeat demons with them, the swords will increase in level. Be sure to use them often, Hyakimaru, for they will serve you well. Hyakimaru, your journey begins here. Steal your will. Be strong. Defeat the 48 fiends and return here alive. I await you, Hyakimaru. Kill me? Try me. I will take back all the 48 body parts the fiend stole from me.
Finally found one. These fiends live off the sorrow and despair of humans. I'm here to take back my body. voice it's my own voice i got my voice back ravaged by unending war. 
The people cried to the heavens, their hearts full of despair. Unbeknownst to them, the world was at the mercy of a group of vile demons known as fiends. One day, a terrible omen appeared in the sky. When morning came, not one, but two suns rose in the east. However, while one sun shined more brightly than ever, the other gave off a dull, black light, as if it were but a shadow of the real sun. It seemed as though the gods of the heavens could no longer bear to witness the troubled times on earth and parted ways with the gods of darkness. The gods of darkness, the fiends, looked upon this omen with fear. To them, the appearance of two sons foretold the birth of a human that would have the power to end their dark rule. However, the fiends could not destroy this child of light themselves. They discovered, however, they could corrupt the child's birth parents. The fiends approached Kagimitsu Daigo, a local samurai, and the future father of the Child of Light, and enticed him with promises of power. One night, in his dreams, Kagimitsu Daigo saw a vision. In this vision, he was told that he would be given the power to bring order to this chaotic world. Daigo, thinking that he had received a vision from the heavens, gathered all his courage and ventured to the temple called the Gates of Hell alone. As Daigo stood there, surrounded by the possessed statues of the 48 fiends, he was told that the price of his power would be his firstborn child. The sudden demand threw Daigo into a panic. Heightened by the echoing laughter of the fiends, his mind began to twist, and Daigo's reason and judgment failed him at last. He signed the contract. A few days later, Daigo's child was born. This was much to the surprise of Daigo himself, as he had expected the fiends would lay claim to his child. Daigo dared to allow himself to feel a moment of joy and relief, but that moment proved to be short-lived. Shadows gathered over the newborn, wrapping themselves around its tiny body. A voice sounded from within the shadows. The body of your son now belongs to the 48 fiends. As promised, you shall be granted the power to bring order to this pitiful world. You shall never know defeat in battle from this day forth. Your path to victory shall be littered with the corpses of those who defy you. 48 parts of the infant's body had been stolen by the fiends Seeing what happened to his son, Daigo let out a blood-curdling scream in anguish. Suddenly, Daigo sprang into action. He snatched up the infant in his arms, jumped atop his trusty steed, Midoro. His wife desperately tried to stop him, but Daigo shrugged her off and made his way toward the river.
don't worry. I've killed all the demons. Hmm? My arm? It's fake. Let's not go telling everyone about this, okay? Why are you following me? <laughs> that sword in your arm. I bet it was forged by a master swordsmith. I don't know. Maybe it was. It works good enough for me. I thought so. Hmm. You mind if I take it? Take it? You? Don't make me laugh. I am the world famous thief, Dororo. Come rain or shine, once I set my eyes on a treasure, it's mine. I don't think you get it. This thing is attached to my arm. It's a part of me. You can't get rid of me that easily. I will get that sword. Are you stupid? Staying near me is certain death. You saw them, didn't you? I'm haunted by ghosts and demons. <laughs> well, the world famous thief is afraid of nothing. Thief or not, don't follow me. game here. I can see. I can see through my left eye. Dororo. You're Dororo. 
Your voice is a little annoying, but you're a cuter kid than I thought. <laughs> hey, is that your eye? Go ahead. Pick it up. I I it's a fake eye! You scared? I don't blame you. When I was a baby, I was found floating in the river, in a barrel. Having returned from his studies in China, the physician Zhu Kai had been gathering herbs near the river. To his surprise, he came upon a barrel floating by, carrying in it a tiny infant. Perhaps it was his medical training that urged him to save the child, or perhaps it was human instinct. But Jukai did not hesitate but for a second before he rescued the child from the barrel. Yet upon examining the child, he was at a loss for words, for he did not know any medicines that could help this cursed infant. However, as Jukai fed the child, he watched the infant sip at its porridge. He felt its burning desire to live and decided to raise the child as his own. One day, a strange voice buzzed in Jukai's ear. Feed me, feed me, the voice pleaded. He looked around in search of the source of the voice. The infant was staring straight at him with its empty eyes. Could it be, he said aloud, were you the one speaking to me? Yes, the voice echoed in his mind. Jukai realized that the child could speak directly to his mind. From that day forward, Jukai communicated with the child telepathically and taught him everything he needed to know about living in this cruel world. When the child turned three, Jukai made a decision. He decided to operate on the child he would use all his medical knowledge to give the child everything he was missing. Arms, legs, eyes, nose, ears, everything that the child lacked. He began the operation. After many, many hours, a miracle happened. At the end of the surgery, when the anesthetics had worn off, the child opened his eyes. And for the first time, the child had a complete body, and he had a name, Yakimaru. Within a month after the surgery, Yakimaru began to learn to use his new body. He sat up, moved his legs, and took his first steps. He stumbled many times, but every time he picked himself back up and tried again. The pain was nearly unbearable and every day he worked himself to the point of nearly collapsing. Soon, Yakimaru was able to run about as free as any child. When Yakimaru turned six, Jukai had been watching him run and play like any child would. Despite the fact that he could not see, he knew at that moment that with such wondrous gifts, a strange and fantastic destiny would surely be awaiting Yakimaru. As Yakimaru grew older, Strange things began to occur. Demons began to appear all around them, watching their every move. When Hyakimaru turned 18, he visited a local temple. While praying, a voice spoke to him from the heavens. The 48 fiends have each taken a part of your body, young Hyakimaru. You must slay these fiends and retrieve what is rightfully yours. However, the fiends have also created a human out of your body parts. Slay the fiends or their human creation and you shall become whole once again. Hyakimaru, sensing the seriousness of the situation, sat down to speak with Jukai. Yakimaru knew that the fiends were after him, 
He knew it was because of his special powers that the demons wanted him dead. Even though he had artificial limbs and could not see nor hear, he could see things with some sort of innate sixth sense. He knew that the fiends considered him a threat and would do anything to get rid of him. Yakimaru decided that he must seek out the fiends and destroy them. To help him accomplish this, Jukai decided to perform one final operation on Hyakimaru. He fitted Hyakimaru's body with various powerful weapons. As Hyakimaru prepared to set off on his quest, Jukai warned Hyakimaru of the dangers he was sure to face. He explained that fiends lived off of human suffering and grief. He told Hyakimaru that if he encountered any peoples burdened with inexplicable pain or suffering, chances are he would find a fiend nearby. If it's free, I'll take it. Bamboo thicket. Just ahead. So shiny. Hey, Yaki. Did you see that creep last night? Yeah. You looked so scared, I thought you'd start crying. <laughs> you'd think I was scared of that freak? If I gave him a nasty look, he'd have run away crying. He was probably an amateur thief. He's probably headed for that village over there. We should go check it out.
Seriously, what kind of thief goes around ringing a bell like that? Yeah, you've got a good point. You say you saw a man ringing a bell? You saw the troll? The, these two saw the troll! Uh, who the heck is the troll? Men, quickly! We must bring them to Mistress Yudai! Yeah! Oh, what are you doing? We haven't done anything! I have been told that you two have met the troll. Quite unlucky for you. 
However, I cannot undo your bonds just yet. What's going on? Why can't you let us go? The troll is, of course, not human. It is a monster, an evil spirit. He would have spoken to one of you. To which of you did he speak? What did he say to you? I must know what he said. I... I didn't hear anything. How about you, sir? Don't know. That is impossible. If you do not answer my question, I cannot release your bonds. Now tell me the truth. There is nothing to be gained by lying to me. Said I don't know. Yucky! You leave me no choice. I shall put you in the well room like all the others. Come on, Yucky! What did the troll say to you? You can tell me! Quiet! Something's coming from the well. This just keeps getting better and better. Ha! demon. But I've never encountered one so powerful before. It might be a demon that stole one of my body parts. I cut it pretty deep. I need to go into the well to see if it's dead. Hey! Hang on just a second! Leave it to me! This is what I do best! You die. That damn woman meant to kill us. She never expected us to get out of this place alive. I wonder how many people she has tied up here and fed to that demon. 
But why is she so intent on killing anyone who saw the troll? There must be some sort of connection between Yudai and the troll. We should check the bamboo thicket that the troll mentioned. I found some sort of tunnel! And there's blood leading to it! Get back up here! That probably leads to where the demon lives. I can feel a breeze! This passage probably leads somewhere outside. I'm gonna go check it out real quick! Don't be stupid! Get back here, Dororo! Someone's there! Get him! Huh? Yeah. Uh, 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 damn it! Let me go! Tie him up and bring him to the East Town Square!
Save the game here. Tough. What did the troll mean by shiny? Guess I have to find something shiny in this bamboo thicket. Huh? have leveled up. have leveled up. have leveled up.
I guess this is what the troll was talking about. I don't get it, though. Damn it! Let me go! Dororo! Hang on! I'm coming for you!
Just who do you think you are, sneaking into Mistress Yudai's house? You don't know who I am? I'm the world famous thief Dororo! World famous thief? What's this fool talking about? You are out of luck. Mistress Yudai has spent all of her own money helping us. I'm afraid she has nothing left to steal. Now tell us what the troll told you! Tell us everything or you'll regret it! Dororo! Sorry to keep you waiting. What took you so long? Answer me this. Who is that woman you die? And what exactly is the troll? Mistress Yudai is a saint who has taken pity on this village. She has done much for us. She has helped us in ways you cannot imagine. If she's so rich and compassionate, why is this village still so poor? It doesn't add up. Sometimes a terrible demon ravages the village and steals our money. If it wasn't for Mistress Yudai, we'd all be dead by now. Exactly what kind of demon? I've never gotten a good look, but it's a disgusting looking creature. Sounds a lot like that demon that attacked us in the well. What do you know about the troll? I'm afraid we don't know much about it. We have been told to bring anyone who sees the troll to Mistress Yudai. Mm. Well, it told me something you might find interesting. Huh? He came to me and said, you want some? So I said, if it's free, I'll take whatever you've got. Then he told me about a rather interesting place. Where? Follow me! I don't think so. How are we gonna get there? Do you trust him? It's too long to go. Everyone, wait! The troll, he's trying to show you something. All right, everyone, dig. It's money. We found our money! It's the money that demon stole from us! This isn't a dream, right? I can't believe it. Our money! That looks like all. Huh. Who hid the money here, Yaki? Yes. I think I have an idea who. Huh? Run! There's a demon coming!
You have retrieved your money? Yes. A traveling warrior discovered it buried in a bamboo thicket. I see. In a bamboo thicket, you say? Well, that is lovely. I'm afraid we have been such a burden on you, Mistress Yudai. Do not worry about it. You may take your leave. Yes, milady. The troll isn't a demon. It's more like a money spirit. It just wanted someone to dig up the money and use it like it's meant to be used. The money's been dug up so it won't come back again. Who are you anyway? Behold! He who stands before you is neither demon nor beast. He is the great warrior Hiyakimaru. He travels throughout the lands, defeating demons wherever he goes. And I am his trusty sidekick. Dororo, that's enough. What can you tell me about Yudai? She has been looking after this village since the days of my great-grandfather. Your great-grandfather? How long has she been alive? She's a demon, I tell ya. Mistress Yudai is an angel. That's why she doesn't age. An angel? Our great-grandfathers built this village, but it was attacked by a demon. It destroyed their homes, took all their money. It left them with nothing. Then, Mistress Yudai came and blessed them with donations. With that money, our great-grandfathers rebuilt the village. The demon always returned, but Mistress Yudai always helped us. The village has survived, and things are getting better. That Yudai lady is a fraud. That, that's absurd! Come on, what sort of fraud gives away money? This entire village is cursed by a demon. I can sense it. Was all the money returned to its rightful owners? Yeah. Then the monster will probably appear again and attack the village. It can't be. What? I don't believe We must set up defenses tonight. Dororo, go to Yudai's manor and see if you can find out anything about her. Uh-huh. If you find anything suspicious, call to me in your mind. My mind? Just shout my name inside your head. Trust me, I'll hear you. I gotcha. First, I need to find proof that Yudai is stealing everyone's money. I just need to find some money that seems out of place.
with me. Your max got a fight with a demon on our hands. I should look for a weapon.
This arrow looks ancient, but it's being kept in such a nice display. It's got to be powerful. Hiyaki might need it. And if not, I'm sure a relic like this could fetch a hefty price. It's almost night. I should check up on Yudai to see if she's up to anything. Looks like a part of that monster that attacked us. Yucky! I found that demon's antenna in Yudai's bedroom. What? Really? Yeah, and guess what? She's not even here. Good. Well done, Dororo. Uh huh. The mucus trail leads into the bamboo thicket. The demon must be in there. I can save the game here. Oh! <laughs> 
な Save the game. I'm here.
you die. You're behind all this. Damn, she got away. I have to warn Dororo. Dororo, Yudai is heading toward the village. She's the demon. Watch out. I hear you loud and clear. Hyaki, she's headed back to her manor. Yaki! There's dead people, too! It's the same wound as the dogs. Probably killed by the same person. But these people aren't warriors. Who would kill simple villagers for no reason? Looks like today's not your day. My sword craves blood, and unfortunately for you, it wants yours. What? Yes, you shall have your blood. Be a good boy and calm down. That sword is either an enchanted blade, or one that is possessed by fiends. Time to die, boy.
I think this sword would like to disagree with you. This is going nowhere. We shall continue another time. Jackie! I'm gonna go follow that guy! Hey, stay away from that sword. I gotta become stronger! With a sword like that, nobody make fun of me! I'm gonna get that sword no matter what!
着你。That's him! All right! Did Dororo go? Telepathy isn't working either. I should check the nearby village. Oh, my God. 
save the game. Dororo, stop! Dororo, what happened? I've been possessed. Looks like I've got no other choice.
Dororo, I told you not to get near that sword. I... I I'm sorry. You hurt? No, I, I think I'm okay. I'm sorry, miss, I really am. When I grabbed that sword, a voice kept telling me to kill, kill! Next thing I know, I'm attacking you! I've heard a lot of stories of people getting killed just outside the village. Maybe that sword is the cause of it all. The sword's partly to blame, but its owner is just as evil. He knows the sword's power, but he doesn't try to get rid of it. It's almost as if he enjoys being controlled by it. That's horrible. Don't worry, Hyaki here will give him a good beating next time we see him. That's very reassuring. But my big brother will be returning soon. He's a swordsman who was sent to guard the local castle. Impressive! What's his name? His name is Tanosuke. I'm Misaki. I'm Dororo. The big lug here is Hyaki Maru. We both have very unusual names. But I must get going. Take care, Hyaki Maru. Dororo, don't go attacking people anymore, okay? Right. Hyaki, we gotta find that guy before he starts killing again. He's gotta be close. We must find him.
Hey, that's Misaki's voice. Tanosuke, you're back. I can't believe you're really back. Misaki. I was just at the temple this morning, praying you'd come home soon. My prayers were answered. I've been back for almost half a year now. Huh? I, I thought you went to guard the castle. Yes, I did. And His Majesty personally awarded me with an incredible sword. But I used it to kill hundreds of castle workers. It was all to defend the castle secrets. But that... your lord ordered you to do it, right? Yes, but... since then... it's felt like the sword has been wielding me instead. The sword constantly craved blood. I became its slave. I couldn't return to your side, so I stayed near the village, wandering. Look what I've become. But it's all that sword's fault. We need to take it to the shrine. Kill. Kill. I'm sorry, Misaki. Dragon Brood craves blood again. Dragon Brood needs more power! Please, help my brother! That sword grows stronger as it drinks more blood. Then, we have to stop him! Yeah, he's getting stronger by the minute.
Save the game here. We have found you, Tenosuke. Or should I say, Dragon Brood? Wait! Please, don't kill him! Misaki, your brother is a good swordsman. And his sword is extremely powerful. He'll kill me if I don't kill him first. No! Just drop your sword, Tenosuke. I know once, you had a human heart. At some point... Perhaps, but Dragon Brood just keeps telling me it needs more blood. And when I satisfy it, I am overcome with such euphoria and pleasure. <laughs> Tenosuke's mind is completely lost. There's no going back. Ah! 
Dragon Brood! Misaki! Watch out! This is my sword. You will have to pry it from my cold fingers if you want it. Give me blood. Dragon Brood needs blood. Don't worry. I will feed you soon enough. Not give you his. You shall have mine. No. Drink, drink. This is your last feast. <laughs> Die, fiend. sword. 
Dragon Brood is dead. Tarasuke. <laughs> oh! 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 My back! Oh, it burns! Hiyaki! I'm... I'm fine. Uh, looks like I... I got my spine back. You'll be alright, Hiyaki! Murderer! I asked you to help him! That's not fair, Misaki! Hiyaki killed that demon sword! If he didn't, it probably would have killed everyone for food. And... and Hyaki... He, he even tried to get the sword away from him. Don't escape. You're all evil. How could you do this to my brother? Murderer! I don't ever want to see you again. Get out of here. I'm... Sorry, things turned out this way. For you and your brother. Kyaki! <laughs> Hiyaki Maru was unable to save the girl's brother from the clutches of the fiends. Yet he was able to regain a precious body part. Everywhere he turned, there was both happiness and sorrow, hope and despair. He began to doubt whether or not the world could truly ever know peace. Hyakimaru clears his mind of lingering doubts and continues on. He must continue to fight. The local magistrate in a small village, surrounded by mountains, has been charged with collecting rice from the farmers to pay the taxes established by the lord of the lands. Shrouded in an eerie mist, the tired villagers have nowhere to run.
An earthquake? Something's not right about this mountain. Please stop! Someone needs help! This way! Silence! This matter does not concern you! I will not hand this temple over to you. Kill her. My Lord. Lord! I told you to knock it off! Looks like you want to go first, huh? <gasps> Let's see how well you do against someone your own size. This sword was only meant to shed demon blood. Dororo, stay behind me.
Is that all? You insolent cur! I, Kagimitsu Daigo, shall deal with you. Father, you need not dirty your hands with these vagrants. Let us retire for the day. You're quite skilled, but next time you shall face me. Thank you for saving us, kind sir. My name is Mio. My name's Dororo, and this here's Hyakimaru. Hyakimaru and Dororo, I cannot thank you enough. What happened here anyway? That samurai, Kagimitsu Daigo. He was going to burn down the temple. But we can't leave this place. We all lost our parents in wars. This is the only home we have. Who is that Daigo guy anyway? People say he's trying to unite Japan under a single peaceful rule. Yet, he's taking over each region by force. Hmm. I don't see how fighting can bring peace and happiness. Fighting can't bring happiness? Let's go, Dororo. Take care, Mio. Thank you for your help. We farm so much rice, but we never get to eat any. I only eat once every two days. I can't take it. Looks like we won't find much to eat here.
Listen, everyone. Lord Daigo has come to speak with you. Heed his words. How come he's the only one who's fat around here? It appears that you have ignored my laws and have refused to pay the rice taxes. No, oh, that ain't true. We've given our share of rice already. We've already given all the rice we've farmed. We've got nothing to Silence. eat. Silence! The Magistrate has told me everything. He said that you have all refused to give up your rice to pay the taxes. Do not expect me to be merciful. You shall learn not to defy me. My lord, please help us. Some magistrate. All the villagers are rail thin, but his belly is huge. Silence, you whelp. Punish them. No, oh, no, no. Oh, please, please. Wait a minute, old man. What? You again? Look at these people. They haven't eaten in days. What good does it do you to make them work more? These are Kagemitsu Daigo's lands. His word is law here. Insolence will not be tolerated. Tahomaru. That is enough. Calm yourself. Remember, you have been warned. Magistrate. Burning down the temple would make for wonderful farmlands, no? It would indeed, my lord. Come, let's go. A demon aura? We should find out more about this village. Sure!
felt like the mountain itself was screaming. Maybe something's inside the mountain! Maybe. Hey, I'd recognize that pot belly anywhere! The Magistrate! The villagers look like sticks! He's the only one looking healthy! Maybe he's hogging the food to himself. What's he being cautious about? Something's fishy here. Yaki, I'm gonna follow him, see what he's up to. I'll head back to the temple. I'm worried about something Daigo said. Gotcha! Be careful, Dororo. Street went inside that cave. I'll go check it out.
Mio, you're safe. Is something wrong, Hyakimaru? No, I was just worried that Daigo and his goons would come back. No, we're fine. Good. He said something about burning down the temple, so it got me thinking. Do you have any way to protect yourself if he comes back? Um... Aren't you gonna fight? War is what took away our homes and our families. More fighting will only give birth to more pain and hatred. Nothing good can come of fighting. But what good does that do you if you're dead? Maybe you're right, but if we can convince even one person to believe what we believe, the world would be a much more peaceful place. What? Here. Are you okay? Happens all the time. Surprised you, huh? Uh, 48 parts of my body were stolen by fiends when I was a baby. And every time I kill one, I get a body part back. I'm so sorry. It was selfish of me to say that nothing good could come of fighting. Seeing how you need to fight, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. To be honest, I think you're right. That's the way the world should be. I'm sorry. That's all right, Mio. Never knew you had such a pretty voice, though. I'd always wondered what it felt like to hear a person's voice.
I do not know what his lordship's plans are, but I was told to eat, so I am. Silence this, whelp. My lord. Yaki, the magistrate has a hidden warehouse in a nearby mountain cave. I've been caught. I'm sorry. Dororo. The magistrate's warehouse? Mountain cave? Hang in there, Dororo. I'm coming for you. Mio, like I said, Daigo's soldiers may come back. Hide inside the temple. Okay, we will. my way you'll have to go through me to get by
You all right, Dororo? Uh, yucky. Wait, I'll cut your ropes. Yucky, the magistrate is somewhere in this cave. Let's go. Demon aura. I can't eat anymore. I still hunger. You must eat it all. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. He's behind all this. Oh! No! Is getting louder. Help! Help! What's wrong? Mio's been kidnapped! What? Let's go. I have seen a vision of a temple burning. As it burned, I became free. To complete the circle, I am to sacrifice a young life to the mountain. And when it is done, my day of victory will be at hand. The day that I finally unite this country under my rule. All shall bow and rejoice in the power of Kagemitsu Daigo.
of the game here. Mio! What are you doing here? Have you come all this way to save this wretched girl? What? It's the demon. He wasn't satisfied, so now he's turned to eating people. What, what matter of, of creature is this? Hey! He's getting away! Forget him! children a world without war, without suffering. <laughs> Mio! Young soul. Mio. Oh, God. Ah! Dororo, watch out! A powerful fiend lives inside this mountain! Gotcha! The temple was built to keep the fiend sealed within. The magistrate's demon was probably keeping the fiend nourished.
How the hell are we supposed to fight an entire mountain? Hey, Hyaki! Maybe there's something in the temple below! I'll go check it out. Watch yourself, Dororo. the game here. Good, <laughs> good, 
filled up.
save the game here. Is it dead? What? It's still moving. This isn't its real body. The real fiend is in the temple. Dororo, I'm counting on you.
sense of pain has returned. Mio. Father, there was a demon inside that mountain. What? A demon, you say? I think that fool is trying to battle the demon to save the girl. The mountain has stopped shaking. Has it accepted our sacrifice? Tahomaru, why aren't you watching over the sacrifice? My guards were were devoured by a demon. And and I feared that if I were to die here, I would be unable to aid you in your quest to unite the lands. Do not worry, my son. These lands would mean nothing if I were to lose you, too. But what happened to that boy? After he was attacked by the demon, there was a tremendous earthquake. I don't believe he could have survived. Very well. Let us be off. There is yet much peace to be brought to these lands. My lord. What did he mean, lose you too? I wonder if what Mio said is true. If, if we can find peace without fighting. Yeah. Maybe not now, but someday. It's up to us to make it happen. Up to us to fulfill her dreams. Yeah. Something's bothering me about that Kagemitsu Daigo. Why did he go through all that just to revive that mountain fiend? What the hell is he up to? Mio's final words echoed in Hyakimaru's heart and mind. What is right? What is wrong? Hyakimaru has only known life shrouded in darkness. He has never had a life devoid of sorrow. He has no choice but to continue his quest to defeat the fiends. For the only light that he sees lies at the end of the journey ahead. A giant wall was built, dividing a town in two. The wall, as it was called, was built overnight and went on for dozens of miles in each direction. However, after many battles, only a single section of the wall still stood. Yet the battle still raged on between the northern and southern parts of the town, separated by the dark monolith. South Town. Kagimitsu Daigo has made this town his remote stronghold. From here, Daigo has launched relentless attacks on North Town, slowly chipping away at the town's defenses. Daigo was determined to defeat the North, as it stood in the way of his goals of unifying the country. Controlled by an alliance of local lords, North Town continues to fight against the advances of Daigo's army. This town is their final hope of stopping Daigo. Perhaps the demon aura moving through the winds of this town was somehow controlling the fate of Daigo and the allied forces. You all right? I wish you hadn't got back your ability to feel pain. No, I'd rather feel it. It reminds me I'm alive. People feel all kinds of pain throughout their lives. Getting past all the pain is what makes people strong. Uh, this is too deep for me. My head hurts now. <sighs> oh, sorry. Didn't know people were in here already. You can stay. They call me Snake Eyes Saburota. You here to work under the new lord? Name's Hyakimaru. What lord? What? You haven't heard? The town up ahead is at war. The allied armies are fighting Daigo's army. I've decided that I'll serve under whichever side wins. Daigo's army? You mean Kagemitsu Daigo? Takes multiple armies to defeat him, huh? Hey, let's get some shut-eye. Sure.
Let's go, Dororo. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. while doing here arrow marks and they're fresh and it looks like there's been a war here recently really that's great what are you looking for a sword thought maybe i could find a nice one you still want a sword that badly yes why you need power to get by in this world and to me a sword equals power with a sword, I'd feel safer and more powerful. Oh. Hmm. I see. Have you already forgotten what Mio said? That nothing good could come of war or something? Right. Now think about it. What kind of world do you want to live in? One where you need a sword? Hmm. Yeah! 
What are you two doing here? Are you from the north or the south? North? South? What are you talking about? Travelers, it'd do you good to get out of this place. We're about to start the execution. The border crossers. Execution? Kids, too? Now you shall learn what happens to those who cross the border. You cannot escape. Hey, I know that guy. <laughs> hey, 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 what the heck is going on here? Who goes there? You. You died on that mountain. How is it you still live? Huh. Kill them! Kill these outlaws! Kill them all! Yes, my yes, lord.
Why do you hurt these innocent people? What? Th that scared ya. His body parts were taken by 48 fiends when he was a baby. What? 48 fiends? Yep. His body is man-made from head to toe. Was he born that way? Yep, and put into a barrel and floated down a river. Right, Shaki? In a... in a barrel? It can't be. Retreat! Retreat! There. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much. Yaki, I, I want to go make sure those kids are okay. And I'll head to South Town. That's where Daigo was headed. Okay. Hey, guys! Where are you going? Well, won't you get killed if you try sneaking into North Town? We're going home to Mommy and Daddy. I thought you guys lived in South Town. Our house is on the north side. I don't get it. What's the difference between north and south then? I see. So that big wall divides the town in two parts. When the war started, my little brother and I were out playing in South Town. And so that's why you haven't been able to go home. Well then, looks like it's up to me to take you guys home. Okay! There's a way through here.
over there. All right, let's travel by rooftop.
voice. You are spies from the South pretending to be our children. D daddy Do not think you can fool us, spies. What are you talking about? They risk their lives to come home. Yes, spies, no doubt. It is the law. All spies must be taken before the army. Don't you recognize your own children? Your lies will not work on us. I saw one of those at the wall. It's a demon fox. Demon foxes have possessed the people of this town and are controlling them. Run! I know a little hut near here. Don't worry. Shaki and I will do whatever we can to help your parents. Okay. You guys hide in here for a while. Okay. All right. Now to find Jackie. Hmm. I can sense demons everywhere. But first I need to find Daigo's manor. Save the game. Yeah! <laughs> 
I can see. Save the game here.
can save the game here. Hmm, I see you really are alive. I found it hard to believe when my father told me. Father? Kagamitsu Daigo, and I am his son, Tahomaru. Father said he wished to see you, so I was about to go looking for you. Follow me. Hey, you here to serve under Kagamitsu Daigo too? Don't know. You know him? Don't know. Wait here. Yourself, demon.
Sorry about the wait. You displayed quite some skill with your sword this morning. How about it, Yakimaru? Would you like to come work for me? I've never really liked war much. I am asking you because I respect your abilities. I only fight because I have to. If that's all you wanted to ask, get out. What? Insolent cur! I want to get some sleep. If you're not going to let me sleep, then I'll leave. <coughs> Tahomaru, let him sleep. Father, I cannot allow him to speak to you in this way. He will learn respect. Tahomaru, you embarrass your father. Never draw your sword without my permission. Let us take our leave. Doro! Doro! Where are you? Jackie! Doro, are you alright? Of course! What happened to those kids? I took them home, but their parents were possessed by demon foxes. I see. Looks like the demons haunting this town are gonna be a real pain. Okay, I'll see you at the wall. Okay, gotcha! Yakimaru has killed my brothers. Three tail, six tail. Yakimaru, you shall know pain and suffering like no other. I have put a barrier around this town. You cannot escape. You shall slowly die of hunger and despair. Suffer like the worm you are! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
save the game here. Where do you think you're going? Don't get in my way, Saborota. Hey, not so fast. I've got orders from Tahomaru. Orders to kill you. Not too shabby. Hyaki Maru. Hyaki, an emergency! North Town's on fire! What? North Town? Ha, huh. it would appear that Lord Daigo has won this war. Why, you... Ah! Dororo, what's wrong? I've been caught by Daigo's troops! Hang on, Dororo. I'm coming for you. Saborota, we'll finish this later. the game here. North Town is engulfed in a sea of flames. Daigo's army crushed all resistance in the north and laid waste to the city. Dororo had tried to sneak into North Town but was captured by Daigo's troops and was being taken to the wall to be executed. Doro! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! This way! Yakimaru, you have interfered for the last time. Let us end this once and for all. Yeah!
Prepare yourself. Father? Get 
didn't know you were fighting demons. Although, I may have helped you today. The next time you interfere with my father's affairs, I'll get you. Even if you are my older brother. So, you heard the voice too? <sighs> Tahumaru. My chest! Uh, it hurts! Uh. My heart! I got my heart back! Can you hear it beating? That's my heartbeat! I can feel my pulse! I got my heart back! Dororo! I really am alive! I'm so happy for you, Hyaki! Hey! 
You guys are all right! You made it back from North Town. Did you see your home? How are your mom and dad? Our house was burning! I'm sorry. But because you hit us in that little hut, we survived! Thank you! You're not gonna cry? That's good. You guys gotta work together from now on. And help each other survive. Take care. My lord, you are victorious! These lands now belong to you. Tahomaru. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that Yakimaru shall continue to be a nuisance to us, my lord. As Lord Tahomaru is injured, may I be permitted to dispose of Yakimaru? Request granted. Take Midoro with you. He's the best horse in my entire army. I graciously accept your offer. I'll get you, Hyokimaru. In a wicked twist of fate, Hyakimaru discovered that Tahomaru is indeed his younger brother. And if what the fiend said was true, it means that Daigo himself is Hyakimaru's true father. The very man who was ravaging the country with war under the guise of unification was his father. Faced with this terrible truth, Hyakimaru's mind is ablaze with questions, doubts, and fears. Yet despite the onslaught of demons and the threat of Daigo's troops, he continues on his journey, hoping that the light he has been searching for does indeed truly lie at the end of his quest. Tahomaru is my little brother, which means Kagemitsu Daigo is my father. The very man who is trying to conquer this country is my father? You've been acting weird since we left the wall. Something happened with you and Tahomaru? Quiet. Do I really have what it takes to go through with this journey? There's no guarantee that I'll even be able to beat all the 48 fiends. And weren't you supposed to meet that Daigo guy too? Yaki? I said shut up! <laughs> Will Dororo stick with me the entire way even though demons are after me everywhere I go? Followed by Daigo's troops! What do you want, Sabrota? I'm here for your head. My head? I see Daigo's got you running his errands now. Go ahead and take it. I dare you. This is Hyakimaru. He stands in the way of Lord Daigo's plans for unification and peace. Don't let him escape alive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come <laughs> on! 
First demons, now my own father. Is there anyone who doesn't want me dead? Hey, Dororo. I think it's about time we went our separate ways. What? This is the end of the road. I travel alone from here on. Yaki! You've got your own life to live. Now go. I said go! You could at least give me a going away present or something. What? You want a sword, huh? Just grab one off any of those soldiers. Yaki! Just take a sword and get out of here. Stupid monkey pig! You know what? I don't care. I was getting sick and tired of you anyway. Take care, Dororo. Damn demons. You want me? What are you waiting for? Come get me! Anyway, I don't need him. I'm gonna be the greatest thief in the world. I don't need a partner.
Have you been following me this whole time? No. I'm only after Hyakimaru. Then what do you want? I just wanted to warn you. Never go near Hyakimaru again. He will only bring doom upon you. Doom? What the heck are you talking about? I'll tell you. After he's dead. There's no way you could defeat Hyaki. He leaves you? And yet you still defend his honor? <laughs> Shut up! Leave me alone! Now, now. Calm yourself. I wanted to warn you because there was something similar about us. I said leave me alone! Kyaki, <laughs> <laughs> where are you? No, no, no! I I'm living on my own now! Now, onward! looks ancient, which means there might be treasure inside. One way to find out! with me. 
better get out of here. This face will do quite nicely. What are you looking at? <laughs> I am taking you to see Legion. Uh, Legion? Yes, I am offering your face to him. What? After I take your face, you will pray at this temple until you die. Pray to the fiends. <laughs> you won't be able to cry for help. You'll fit right in. <laughs> Jackie! I can see the game here. You'll never be able to beat me with those skills. I asked you to help my brother, my only brother, and you killed him! Dragon Brood was powerful, and your brother was strong, with or without the sword. Give me back 
My brother. Your brother's soul was consumed by a fiend. And if you continue down this path, you will lose yourself in darkness too. I want you to think hard about your life and find a new reason to live. Must find a place to rest. Also sense a spirit, much like the troll. Is there something the matter? Hey, old man. Think I could stay here tonight? I haven't much to offer, but stay if you please. <laughs> Thanks. Please. You'll get an upset stomach, for he is the Fiend Slayer, Yakimaru. What? If you want fresh meat, eat the child I brought in earlier. <laughs> child? Dororo!
No new body parts. He must still be alive. Dororo! gonna do? Can't just go crying to Hyaki for help. Wait! He called himself a fiend! He must have one of Hyaki's body parts. Well, I suppose I can contact Hyaki to let him know I found a body part. A fiend! I found a fiend! Dororo! Are you okay? Where are you? I'm at the waterfall! Dororo! Hang on! I'm coming for you! Save the game here. Thank you. 
Shakimaru, prepare yourself. Why are you still following me? My only brother. He raised me by himself. I must do this for him. Shakimaru, I must kill you. Is this the path that you chose? Your brother is dead. You aren't. Don't let his sacrifice go to waste. It is my choice. You shall pay. No matter how many times you attack me, I will not kill you. You are no demon. I want you to think hard about what your life means to you. You're soft, Yakimaru. And that will be your downfall. <laughs>
Save the game here.
of the game here. Aren't those faces still alive? The people whose faces were stolen are being held captive! I'm sure the faces will return to their owners if you destroy them! Understood. My nose. <laughs> Looks like you got a body part back. Thanks to me. What are you yapping about? You slipped up and got caught. Slipped up? This was all part of my plan. Oh, is that so? Well then, guess we'd better be going our separate ways. Take care of yourself, Dororo. Hey, now, wait a second. I've made up my mind. I've decided that I'm staying with you until I get my hands on that sword. Huh, suit yourself. <laughs> Dororo. <laughs> Hiyakimaru. The gates of hell await you. Let's get off this mountain, Dororo. I gotcha. people were being held.
treatment! I think so. My left arm. <gasps> not so fast, Dororo. Why? It's not like you need it anymore. I've still got plenty of uses for it. <laughs> Nothing like the real thing. It feels much stronger. Faster and stronger. Nothing like the real thing. Let's get off this mountain, Dororo. they had once parted, Dororo and Hyakimaru once again traveled together. Was their meeting by mere chance? Or perhaps it was fate that brought these two together? Saburota's words still lingered in Dororo's mind. Who is he? And more importantly, what did he know? Yet Hyakimaru was ever more determined to complete his quest. He swore an oath to reclaim what was rightfully his, regardless of the trials that lie ahead. Brethren 
Looks like something powerful is waiting for us up ahead, Dororo. <gasps> Never felt an aura like this. It's gonna get interesting. Let's have a look around this town. Sure.
Shakimaru, prepare yourself. to you I have been granted power what power huh? however I have yet to learn to control my power Yakimaru the next time we meet shall be the last I will be back for you Misaki, what have you done? Huh? Yaki, it's Saburoto's horse! Do you truly hate Yakimaru that much? He killed my brother. Your will is admirable. As promised, I will give you the power to kill him. It's working. What? So much evil. What have I done? Ah! Assume you've noticed Misaki's little change. You're the one that did that to her? You fiend! Come to the gates of hell to find the truth. The gates of hell? Yes, it's here in this town. Make it there alive, and all will be made clear. Yaki, where do you think the gates of hell are? No idea. We'd better start looking. I can save the game here.
with respect to my father. Who are you? I'm done for. Sorry. I can save the game.
you truly wish to unify this country under a peaceful regime? You must kill this man who dares to defy us. It, it's him! Yakimaru! Ah! Yakimaru! What? Ah! What's wrong? Are you alright? He's being kept unconscious by magic. Father, what is Yakimaru doing here? Your father was given power in exchange for that which was dearest to him. Who are you? Show yourselves! <laughs> we are here, right in front of you. Where? Show yourselves! <laughs> Can you not see? <laughs> what? The eyes! They move! <laughs> Foul demons! I'll destroy you all! Do not mistake us for ordinary demons, human. We are fiends. We can dagger with the power to accomplish his goals. What? Fiends? Father, is this true? Have you made a pact with these demons? There will be peace. Hey! 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 I'm not gonna stand here while you cowards try to kill Hyaki in his sleep! Thanks, Dororo. Father! Show yourself, Saburota! Lord Tahomaru, please release Lord Daigo's arm. Saburota! Are you betraying your father? I'm trying to snap him out of it. I see. Midoro! <coughs> ah! Tahomaru! Damn you, fiend! Go, <laughs> go, 
Maru, are you alright? Yeah. My right eye just grew back in. With my real eyes. As well as my mind's eye. It should make fighting easier. I'm happy for you, Hyakimaru. Hmm. What the hell are you? Me? I'm your angel of death. What? I was created by the 48 fiends to eliminate you. I am the spawn of demons. Created by fiends? So if I kill you, <laughs> your father will realize his goals very soon. This country will be ruled by a man who sold his soul to demons. <laughs> Hyakimaru Tahomaru Prepare yourselves I guess this means I'm a traitor This shall be your tomb
Helmaru, before we go, there's something that I have to know. What? Did Kagemitsu Daigo willingly sell himself to the fiends? I don't know. But he has been acting especially strange lately. He used to talk so passionately about his ideals, but now he never does. Really? Perhaps we should continue this conversation somewhere safer. Good point. There's probably monsters everywhere. It'd be easier to escape if we split up. I'll meet you two at the town entrance. Understood. Dororo, stay close to me. I know, I know! Don't go and die on me now. You too, Hiyaki.
save the game here. here that's because I have captured him huh Saburota. I will take Tahomaro before Lord Daigo it appears that he needs to be re-educated Daigo's victory is close at hand even now his castle is nearing completion soon the entire world will be ruled by fiends <laughs> <laughs> hey! A world ruled by fiends? 
then Daigo is nothing but a pawn. At last, two pieces of the puzzle had been revealed to Hyakimaru. His own father was plotting to conquer the world. Would he have the world ruled by the fiends? Would their evil taint the souls of the people and plunge the world into never-ending strife? Then there was Saburota, created by the fiends themselves. Yakimaru recalled the voice that spoke to him on his 18th birthday. The fiends have also created a human out of your body parts. Slay the fiends or their human creation and you shall become whole once again. Hyakimaru's destiny was close at hand. He had felled many fiends, and the light he had sought for so long grew brighter. Spirit killed by Daigo and his men. Daigo's castle is being built just beyond here. He is forcing both young and old to work for him night and day. The 48 fiends have tainted his soul. Innocent women, children, and the elderly are being worked to death. He is a cursed man. Please, you must help my son. You must take revenge for me. Do not worry, I will avenge you. She's gone. May your spirit Find peace. Let's go, Doro. Okay.
can save the game here. Let's go. Okay.
hear someone. It's coming from underground. Help! Here! The, the voices are coming from here! Is somebody down there? Please, let us out of here! Please, we'll never tell anyone about the castle secrets! Castle secrets? Is Daigo burying all the workers alive to cover up what he's doing? That's horrible! I'll go inside and see if I can help them escape. Be careful. Sure.
Tororo! Taomaru, what are you doing in here? Hang on, I'll open the door! Thank you for your help, Tororo. But how did you get in here? I heard someone shouting as we walked by! I see. There are many more people trapped down here as well. I need you to help me find everyone so we can all escape. Gotcha! Yaki! I found Taomaru! He's going to help me free all of the prisoners! Good. I'm gonna to head to the top of the castle to find Daigo. Be careful, Yaki! You too. Sure! Let's go! Looks like we can get out from here. Hey! Help us! Hey! Here they are! We must help them. Gotcha! Thank you for everything.
Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything.
probably a fiend. I will take these people to safety. You go find Hyakimaru. I gotcha! Body part. But how? Was it Dororo? Or Tahomuru? Fiends. Kagemitsu Daigo. I'm coming for you. Save the game here.
It's a demon aura. A fiend? I can save the game here.
bombs have leveled up. And save the game here. This time, I will not fail. Why are you determined to kill me? So that I may live. What's that got to do with me? I don't know what you're talking about, but I must defeat you to get back my body parts. Your body parts? What are you talking about? Saburota, I hope you don't expect me to go easy on you. Of course! Take this! Take this! 
I did it. I defeated the man created by the fiends. If what I heard at the temple is true, then I will regain all my body parts. Hyakimaru, before I die, tell me something. What did you mean by getting your body parts back? Long ago, I heard a voice at a temple. It said my quest would end if I defeated the man created for my body parts. You got it all wrong. The fiends didn't use your body parts to make me. I'm nothing but a puppet. Created only to destroy you. What? Tough luck. <laughs> the fiends told me that they would give me a heart if I defeated you. You don't have a heart? No. It was to make sure I couldn't leave the lands they controlled. If I had a heart, I could have lived free. Saborota. That kid traveling with you. Dororo, was it? That's the one you're looking for. They created Dororo with your body parts. What? I speak the truth. I'm surprised you never realized it. Why else do you think you could communicate telepathically? Just kill Dororo, and I'm sure you'll get back all the body parts you want. <laughs> I'll get my body back if I kill Dororo? I can't. I just can't. I can't kill Dororo. I don't care how long it takes. I'll kill all the fiends myself! Kiaki! Dororo, you're safe. You too. Where's Tahomaru? He's helping the others escape. He said he'll meet up with us later. All right, let's go. Okay.
done for. Sorry. Above here? Daigo. I'm coming for you. I can save the- game here.
can save the game here. Yeah! 
game here. Save the game. Here. Sorry, I'm late, Hiyaki. To Homuru. <gasps> Father. You. Why do you insist on interfering? I only seek peace and unity. What you're doing won't bring peace. The fiends only want suffering. I do not care where my power comes from. Peace will come if I unify this country. That is what the fiends have promised. I sacrificed that which was dearest to me to fulfill this task. Dearest to you? You mean me? Look, my castle is finished. Soon my conquest shall be complete. Daigo. No, father. The fiends are using you. They're manipulating you to create a world that they can rule over themselves. Yakimaru, I will not let you interfere. Let you interfere any longer! <gasps> Yakimaru, you are our sworn enemy. Kagemitsu Daigo, we shall grant you the power to defeat him.
Yaki, are you alright? What happened to Daigo? What happened to our father? He's alive. The fiends, the, they no longer control him. Our father has returned to us, Yaki. I knew things would turn out good. Yaki, what do you plan to do now? My quest is not finished. I shall find the remaining fiends and destroy them. I will continue my journey until all the 48 fiends have been destroyed. Very well. I plan to rebuild this country, working side by side with the people. Good. Those are the, the spirits of the fiends I've killed! They're joining together! Chucky, it's looking right at me! We must take the body of that child. That child was created with Yakimaru's body parts. That child holds all of Yakimaru's power! Doro! <laughs> Yaki! My mind is flooding with darkness. I... I can't hold on! Yaki... Don't let them taint me. Tomaru, don't worry. I won't let them. Hyakimaru, this time you shall not die. Ah! <laughs> 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 
fulfill his wishes, work side by side with the people, as he would have, to rebuild this country. Not by force? No, by working with the people. Become a leader the people can respect. That was Tohomaru's wish. Yakimaru, do, do you not hate me? Hate you? The fiends manipulated you. There is no reason for me to hate. My son, what do you plan to do now? I don't know. I'll figure it out once I get back all my body parts. What are you gonna do now, Hyaki? I've gotta find the rest of my body. You're not going without me. Whatever. The shadows passed from Kagemitsu Daigo's face as the fiend's influence over him waned. His eyes had been opened by the sacrifice Tahomaru made. Daigo made a promise to Hyakimaru to create a country of peace where the people would work together in harmony. However, there were yet fiends that lived, determined to retrieve what was rightfully his and to free the world from the plague of the fiends, Yakimaru continued on his journey with Dororo by his side.
demon aura.
Misaki, that sword! <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Hyakimaru. I've learned to control my power better. Can't attest me? Misaki, get a hold of yourself! Stay back, Dororo. I'm not here for you. Hyakimaru, this time... I shall have my revenge! Misaki! Why? Check on Misaki. Gotcha. Misaki, are you all right? I lost. Even with the power of a fiend. Misaki. But I'm glad. I knew the moment the fiend entered my body, I had made a mistake. Hyakimaru, you saved my brother's soul from the fiend that possessed him. I now understand what you said to me back then. Thank you. Oh, for everything. I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm glad you came to your senses. Uh, hey! Misaki! Uh, are you okay? Misaki, you look exhausted. Near Mount Kurama, there's a doctor named Jukai. He raised me as a child. Find him. He'll take care of you. 
Thank you, Yakimaru. I will find him. Take care, Dororo, and don't be afraid to show your soft side now and then. Soft side? What soft side? What are you talking about? Don't worry, Dororo. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> Saki?
Something smells fishy. Yeah, there's something powerful in here. Looks like I found you, fiend. Hiakimaru. I am my my own ba. I will not let you interfere with the fiend's plans. I shall fill this pitiful world with the presence of the mine my own ba. Hiakimaru, prepare to meet your doom. Kyaki, have you gotten all your body parts back? No. Just one left. That's great! Your quest is almost done! Dororo. You. You have my last body part. Huh? Kyaki, you're so mean! Don't tease me like that! Saburota told me. He was created by the fiends themselves. You're kidding, right? This is a joke, right? Those were his last words. He spoke the truth. Then w what are you gonna do? You're, you're not gonna kill me, are you? How... Uh, how can you even say that? I... Uh... I will find a way to exercise the fiend from your body. Somehow. I don't know how long it will take, but even if it takes my whole life, I will find a way. Don't worry, Dororo. I've slain 47 fiends so far. And compared to that, I'm sure figuring this out will be easy. Yaki. I want you to wait here for me, Dororo. I want you to help my father and rebuild this country into a beautiful place. I will be back for you, Dororo. Yaki. I, I believe in you. Dororo, goodbye. I'm sure you'll grow up to be a very fine woman someday. <laughs> a single fiend remained. However, that fiend would be the most difficult to defeat out of all the enemies he had encountered thus far. For the last fiend resided within Dororo. Would Yakimaru be able to defeat the fiend without endangering the life of his own friend? However, Yakimaru's mind was clear. There was only one thing he could do. 
With renewed determination, he set out once again on his journey. And once again, he was alone. Tororo, how have you been? Good. How about you? I've been worse. Did you... I found a way. Really? The spirits of fiends are somehow naturally drawn to my spirit. If I can get my spirit inside of you, I can then lure the fiend out of your body. You can do that? Yes. I can do it without causing you any physical harm. Perfecting that technique was harder than I thought. Sorry I took so long. N no I just didn't think I'd see you so soon. There is... still just one problem left, Doro. Problem? Even though I can lure out the fiend, I cannot sever its bond with you. Which means... Which means... I'll be fighting the fiend while it's still a part of you. And if anything goes wrong, something bad could happen to you. You could die. What? Which is why... I've decided... I don't mind my arm staying like this. No, Yucky. You made an oath to defeat all 48 of the fiends and get back your body. Don't you worry about me. I... I trust you, Hyaki. Doro. Come on! Give it your best shot! I won't fail you.
Khaki? <laughs> Dororo, look! It's my right arm! My real arm! You did it, Hyaki! Dororo, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Yaki. <laughs> <laughs>